Hi, it's Sarah Jane from Cards and a Cuppa and welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to share with you how to make this milk carton from one sheet of A4 card. Very little cutting and really easy to make. This was actually one of the first photo tutorials I did on my blog um, and that's some five years ago now. But it's, it's, a, it's a great little box. It also fits about a quarter of a tin of celebrations in. So it's perfect at Christmas for teacher's presents or just for a colleague at work maybe. You just want a small gift to give them. Right, so you're going to start with your sheet of A4 card. This is pool party and um, to make it a bit summery I'm going to use this Think Happy Cloud here. Um, to stamp all over it. You're going to stamp before you score so that you get good images without the crease marks. And you're just going to stamp all over at random. This is pool party ink. If you don't have matching ink to your card you can also use Versamark which will work on any coloured card and just give you a slightly paler image but still a good a good colour on it. Right so you're going to need your score tool and to do this along this long side you need to score at 7 14, 21 and 28. Now flip it round and you're going to score at 4, 4, 14 and 19. Now, at this point you're going to reinforce your score lines using your bone folder. Fold in for these shorter creases. Now up at the bottom and then in for this 14 centimetre but back out so right side spacing for this 19 centimeter score line. Now trim. So this is your top with a small gap. Trim away this bottom piece here and then trim up to the four centimeter score line. On each of these downward creases. Okay, fold this bit over and add glue or tape, something that won't come undone, something that's quite strong so that your box will stay together. I use Tombow but red line tape will work or good double sided tape if you haven't got them. And then just fold it up and that makes it a perfect square. Okay. Right. Square off your box and fold your two, two sides in and then you're going to cover both these, it doesn't matter which, which way you do this, both these flaps in glue. Make sure your bottom stays square Put your hand in just for a moment just to give it a chance to go off. Now have your your join section towards the back and then simply push in at the sides and squeeze the front and back together to make your milk carton. Just reinforce your edges slightly. and find yourself a clip to hold it together. 
and that's the basics of your milk carton finished now to decorate I've used the balloon framelits that match celebrate today along with the sentiment from celebrate today as well um, so you're going to stamp in strawberry slush ink happy birthday and punch out with the decorative label punch when you punch out punch the sentiment so it's more to the left hand side Now, the balloon frame that's also come with this lovely little bunting die and a little bow die as well as the balloon and the, the tail section as well. Now for this, just to make it pop, for this little bow I've got the strawberry slush marker thick end and as long as you keep your pattern side up you can run your marker around the edge just to make it pop. This is iridescent ice glimmer paper and because you've got the pen this side and the and the pattern side up when you go around the edge if you slip it's going to slip under where it won't be seen. Don't be tempted to do that with the pen because then you could slip across the top. So keep your pen pointing upwards and your pattern pointing upwards. And you can do that around any any image you want to just give a little edge to to make it pop. Now I want a tiny little pearl. Um, I've already coloured this in with my medium Melon Mambo blendabilities to make it pink. I'm just going to pop that in the centre of the bow. And then because this paper is shiny on the back so that, um, to keep the glitter onto it. So what I'm going to do is rather than use Tombow, I'm going to use Crystal Effects to add this to my sentiment. So I'm going to do it on, put a little pin in the Crystal Effects to unblock it and then just add a little dab of stuff. Not too much, I don't squidge out the edge just so that I can secure it to the sentiment. It will take a few minutes to dry so be careful not to smudge it because once you've got that glue on there you can't get it off. Now position your bunting roughly where you want it and then just add a little dab on each flag of crystal effects again to use as a glue. Spread it out a bit so it doesn't squidge out the side and then add. be sure to add this where exactly where you want it again because you can't remove excess crystal effects once once it's on card and that gives you that and then I just added a couple of dimensionals to the back of this sentiment And there's your A4 milk carton. Well, I hope you enjoy making this and that this tutorial has been helpful for you. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.